Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and special mention to our instructor, Mrs. Josephine Tives. This video presentation is all about the preference of teaching and learning methods for college students at Bohol Island State University Clarine Campus, taking the Bachelor of Technology in Livelihood Education, major in Home Economics, as an example. It will be presented by Maria Samantha Mani, Marla Mibalorio, and Real Nice Inad. This abstract provides an overview of the preferences of educators and learners regarding three primary teaching learning methods, blended learning, face-to-face -face learning, and pure online learning. Blended learning is popular due to its flexibility and potential for personalized learning. Face-to-face -face learning is favored for subjects that require hands-on training or intensive social interaction, while pure online learning is ideal for those who prefer flexibility, self-directed learning, and remote access to educational resources. Hybrid approaches of face-to-face -face and online elements offer potential for optimal learning outcomes but the effectiveness of each method depends on context, pedagogical design, technological support, and educator professional development. Continued research and evaluation of teaching learning methods is needed to accommodate the diverse needs and preferences of learnings in the digital era. The landscape of education has changed significantly in recent years with the introduction of diverse teaching and learning methods such as blended learning, face-to-face -face learning, and pure online learning. Each method has its own advantages and disadvantages, so understanding the preferences and nationality behind each approach is essential. Blended learning combines additional face-to-face -face instruction with online learning components providing personalized learning experiences and increased student engagement. Face-to-face -face learning provides invaluable human interaction, enabling direct feedback, clarification of doubts, and building relationships. Pure online learning offers flexibility, accessibility, and convenience, enabling self-directed learning and facilitating collaboration through discussion forums and video conferencing. Now, I will give the floor to Real Miss Real Nice Inad. Good day once again. I am Real Nice S. Inad. For now, I am going to discuss the literature background of the preference of the teaching learning methods for college students. Learning style referred to an individual preferred methods of processing new information for efficient learning. Rita Dawn defined learning style as a unique way developed by students when he or she was learning new and difficult knowledge. Learning style is about how students learn rather than what they learn. According to research, individuals take different approaches to learning and no single strategy or approach can provide optimal learning conditions for all individuals. This could be due to students' diverse backgrounds, strengths, weaknesses, interests, ambitions, levels of motivations, and approaches to learning. To improve undergraduate education, educators should become more aware of these diverse approaches. Learning style can help students and educators understand how to improve the way they learn and teach respectively. Traditional classroom instruction is combined with online components in face-to-face, -face, online, and blended learning to create more flexible and engaging educational experiences. These approaches have the potential to provide personalized learning, increase engagement, and increase access to a wider range of resources. The traditional classroom settings allow for direct interactions and immediate feedback. Social interaction in face-to-face -face learning are important because they promote collaboration, peer learning, and active engagement according to Garrison and Cleveland Ines 2005, Pascarella et al. 2007. 
students requ regard social presence and structure guidance in face-to-face -face classes as essential for developing relationships and deepening understanding according to 10 to 1997 kahoo 2013 we define online learning as a method of learning and teaching that make use of the internet accusation and application of knowledge in an educational content primarily through the use of the internet and communication technologies working together. They discovered various classifications of online learning in the literature. According to Marlene V. Wilcox and Solomon Nigosh 2008, create the most thorough classification of the online learning based on presence and communication properties. It is defined as real-time presence, which occurs when both the instructor and the learner are present during the delivery of learning content. They also include the terms physical and virtual presence. The other is communication, which is defined as content delivery, whether it is electronic or not. Furthermore, some studies in the field of distance learning were conducted using Cobb's inventory. Wang et al. 2006 focused on the effects of formative assessment in, in one of these studies. The effect of assessment and learning styles on student performance in a web-based learning environment. Both learning style and formative assessment strategies were found to be significant factors influencing student engagement in a web-based learning environment. With the advancement of technology, online teaching is becoming more widely accepted as a viable component of teaching and learning and blended learning which combines online and face-to-face -face learning is becoming more common in many higher education institutions blended learning is still in its early stages particularly in developing countries and it is not without challenges asynchronous online lessons are still more common in many areas possibly due to the difficulty in obtaining strong internet connections which may discourage educators from using synchronous options. That's all about the literature background, so for now, let us move forward to the problem. This activity aims to answer the following questions. What are the students' preferences of teaching learning methods in terms of? One, we have blended learning face-to-face -face learning, pure online learning. All right, let's review the result of our research on teaching and learning preferences. We focus on three methods. We have the blended learning, face-to-face -face learning, and pure online learning. We collected responses from 100 students from different year levels and schools. The sample size was significant, giving us reliable insights. Certainly, according to the data, face-to-face -face learning received the highest overall preference rating. Participants appreciated the actual value, the direct interaction, and immediate feedback from instructors. They highlighted the social aspect of learning, such as building relationships with peers and engaging in class discussions. The blended learning received the second highest overall preference rating. They found it beneficial to have face-to-face -face interaction with peers and instructors while also engaging the flexibility of online resources and assignments. The participants mentioned that the blended approach allowed for personalized learning experiences and catered to different learning styles. They found it convenient and engaging. Pure online learning received mixed reviews, while some participants appreciated the flexibility and convenience of studying remotely, others expressed concerns about lack of in-person interactions. They mentioned feeling isolated and missing out on the social connections and networking opportunities that come with face-to-face -face learning. 
Absolutely, participants also found it challenging to maintain motivation and discipline without a structure of physical classroom. However, those who had prior experience with online learning generally expressed higher satisfaction and adaptability. So in conclusion, the preferences for teaching and learning methods in the digital age vary among educators and learners. Blended learning combining traditional classroom instruction with online components offers flexibility and personalized learning experiences. Face-to-face -face learning, the traditional classroom setting, remains favored for its immediate feedback real-time discussions, and social interaction. Pure online learning provides flexibility, accessibility, and convenience for self-directed learners. When selecting teaching and learning techniques, educators and institutions should take into account the virus requirement and the preferences of learners. Blended learning models that include online and face-to-face -face components can provide the advantages of both techniques. However, the efficiency of any technique is determined by elements such as learning styles, topic content, technology assistance, and the instructor's continual professional growth. Continued research and evaluation of teaching learning methods are essentials to keep pace with emerging technologies and evolving learning needs. Understanding the preferences and the implication of blended learning, face-to-face -face learning, and pure online learning will contribute to the development of effective and inclusive educational practices in the digital era. By the adapting to the changing educational landscape, Educators can provide engaging and impactful learning experiences for their students.